Hey there, this is Ashley Hume with Hollywood TV and we are here at Mann's Chinese Theater for the premiere of Escape from Planet Earth, the Weinstein Company's first animated feature film. Starring Jessica Alba, Jane Lynch, and Rob Corddry, the film follows an astronaut who has to defy the odds to save his family and his planet. So tell me how you got involved with this movie. Well, they invited me, and I, I'm not one to say no to invitations, especially when it comes to animation. And it, it's the uh, Weinstein's first animated film, so I'm honored to be a part of it, yes. And um, I did voiceover uh, for a living before I got Glee, and uh, so the animation was always the brass ring. And now I'm getting asked to do it, and I, I, it's a dream come true. Tell me about your role. Well, uh, she's very angry. She has one eye. And um, she looks like a lobster. <laughs> And uh, those uh, that those anger issues that she's always trying to deal with end up helping and p making her impassioned. You know, it's kind of like a lot of characters I play. I play a lot of angry people. Yeah. Is it like harder for you to kind of? I mean, you say you're, you've done a lot of voiceovers. I mean, because you don't have someone to kind of bounce off to get that anger up. Like, how do you oh, kind of do that? I can get my anger up really easily. But that is one of the things you're in an isolated booth by yourself doing these things. But I, I, I have no problem with that. I love it. It's great. <laughs> Is it fun doing this kind of like family films you can see with your kids? And yes, it is. It's great that, you know, it's it's for everybody and animated films these days and, and this film is no exception. They're so clever and for, so adults aren't, you know, I remember I was going to see some movies with my daughter where I was, and uh, not these though. No, no. Mm -hmm. um, I was just asked to do it and I read it and I thought it was really sweet. So I was like, cool. And I got to play the baddie. So that was fun. Yeah, tell me about your role a little bit. Um, she's the nemesis. I've never been able to, or I haven't ever played the nemesis before. Yeah. Um, I just got to be completely crazy. <laughs> That's it. You like doing these kind of family movies you can see with your kids. Have your kids seen the movie? Um, yeah. I, I, I think it's really cool to be able to do something that Honor can enjoy. So, for sure. So she enjoyed it? I was overhearing that she doesn't know that totally that it's an animated. Yeah, like to her, you know, like it's all the same. You yeah. know, she watches a Disney movie and it's like there's Ariel and then she goes to Disneyland and sees Ariel and she's like, oh, that's Ariel too. Like it's all the same. So in this movie, she was like, it was a mascot, you know, that you're wearing. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, no, no, there's like drawings and I did the voice and it was separate. And then and I was like, nah, it was, it was hot, totally. <laughs> So what brings you out today? I've been dying to interview He called, he said, come see this movie. Yeah. He's an old friend, I'm here. Did you ever see when he filled in as host on Piers Morgan? And he, he, he was pretty good. He was, he was pretty good. He's a sharp guy. He's a good guy. He publishes my books. Oh, well, see, he's very sharp. That proves he's sharp already. A couple of his movies, too. Yeah. Do you like animated films? It's their first animated space. I was in Shrek 2, 3, and 4. I was the voice of the ugly stepsister. And Billy, I was with Billy, I was with, uh, 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 I did the B movie, Jerry Seinfeld's B movie. I was Larry B. King. And any more of that in your future? Or what are you working it's on? It's easy, it's fun to do. Oh, I understand you have a song in the movie. Can you tell me how you got involved? Um, well, Mr. Weinstein, he, um, he approached me, um, it wasn't too long ago, it was like, Pretty close to the actual like release date of the film, and um, you know, I thought it was definitely too great of an opportunity to pass up, and and um, the song like really fits the movie very well, and and uh, you know, I feel like movies I like, couldn't do movies without the soundtrack, and you know, I wanted to be a part of that, and uh, I've always been a fan of like alien movies and stuff, so <laughs> but like why not? Yeah. Why not write a song? So, so tell me about the song. It's Shine Supernova, yeah. right? Yeah, and um, it's quite inspirational actually, because the movies, you know, the movies about like conquering them, conquering that mission, and. Um, I guess escaping from planet Earth and um, you know we just wanted to create something that you know was feel good fit the vibe of the movie and, and was you know had the morals at the same time so